Hello, today we want to talk about facial animations, facial expressions, and the phonemes that basically make the characters talk. We are going to be using the Max Rig. This guy, uh, there's a demonstration on him in uh, the animation rig tutorials section ish thing. Sorry, I'm a little combobbled this morning. But uh, for the most part, there's a few things you need to know about the rig first that I didn't mention. Uh, we want to go down to his, I believe this is waist, and then right here where it says smooth levels, right now it should, it will be set at zero. When it's set at zero, that means it'll, it'll, uh, it's less polys on the screen. Set it at two, has about max poly, so it will be really slow, chuggish on your machine. I have facial expression stuff I want to do, and I want to have it at, uh, at least a level two. Because at zero, your face is real blocky, you can't get as much out of it. So I'll throw it at level two, get this guy out the way, actually bring this guy back. Look at my animation layers, I want to get rid of my controls because we just focus on the face. So first let's start off with facial expressions. Facial expressions are key to any animation, especially when you're doing dialogue. It expressed what the character's feeling, sad, happy, mad all that great stuff. Now posing the stuff out is very crucial to how you actually work when you when you do your workflow. Most of the time I select all the controllers and I set keys on everything as I go through my facial expressions. But here I want to toggle through some pre-made expressions that I made, a little smirky smile type thing. Sad or drowsy or whatever that is. Then I'm just going to make one right here as we go because, uh, as you can see, here's your face. Here's all these little controllers. I'm going to go with an angry face, and uh, this right here is the eyebrows. So let me. And you got to. You can't really see that well because my background here. I can change that if I need to. I forgot what the shortcut was, but I'll get to that later. But uh, these are the eyebrows. You can see the spelling, the uh, smile, frown, things of that nature. I want to go with the eyebrows real quick and. Get the most expression out of the eyebrows really fast. I'm gonna go for an angry look. This controller right here is a smile frown. You'll be using that quite often to get whatever look you may desire. Right now I have his jaw open. I'm actually going to shut it completely. And then I also have some of his lip movement to show his teeth from my other poses. I'm just going to zero those out. Go ahead and put a frown on this dude. I'll probably uh, use this gur and gur left, gur right, gur left. Basically, gets that a little growling dog or something. And voila, I got my angry face. Of course, I could probably spend more time on it, finesse it more, make it look more aggressive angry-ish, you know, things of that nature. But I'm just going to do that for right now for demo demonstration purposes. I can mess with the eyebrows, you know, put one eye up, one, one down, you know, the pupil size. So you can be like a psycho mad dude or whatever. And then you got over here the O, the cheeks. You can mess with that a little bit and you can get some good facial stuff out of it. Now, while making facial expressions, a few things you got to think about when you're doing your facial expressions is when you start adding, say if you're mad and you're adding mouth movements and things of that nature, you got to keep in mind that although you're talking, you got to still keep that angry face. You can't just do it all in the eyebrows. It still got to convey in the mouth and the lips and everything else. But let's move on to uh, actual face or lip syncing in a sense. We're not going to actually do the full-blown lip syncing, but what we're going to do is go over the, the, the phonemes which are basically like the O's, E's, ah, th, th, um, you got f, which is like for, for saying words like fart, and that's a real famous one. Uh, you got k, and ch. All these, these phenom, phonemes basically are the, the, the key poses that you make in your mouth that when you're speaking and talking. Um, you can actually Google it on Google, you know, type in phonemes and you'll get all sorts of stuff, all sorts of expressions of how to do it. And it's funny because it differs 
through every person. You get your basic, real deep down basic ones, which, <clears throat> let me make sure I got them correct. Get your real basic ones, which is M, B, E, H. Those are like the ones that fresh or that I've used a lot, and you can get away with quite a few. Like there's some that have like 15. Some people say there'll be 10 and be 11, but your library can be as big as it needs to be. At one point, I was just using maybe six phonemes actually to shape my my dialogue when I was back in the day working on WWE wrestling games and all they like to do was talk about WWE stuff and it was fun for the time. I don't know if I want to go back and do that again. But I want to basically shape out uh, a few a few phonemes for you. Let's see, let's see here. I want to select all my controllers. Make sure I think right here I was going for an ah. But I want to go for the F. Like, basically that sound. Um basically close my jaw. Close my mouth just a little bit. It's the lower the lower lip. And the jaw from the side right here, you can actually scroll up and down and move the cheek back and forth. That's why I want to get my try to manipulate my front teeth coming in to get that. And yes, get a mirror. You're gonna look stupid, but hopefully it's just you and the the, the computer. You get your mirror, you get your camera. I don't look stupid for you guys, but this is how you do. Is you have your little handy mirror next to you, and you be constantly making shapes of your faces to get the shape you're trying to require for whatever sound you're trying to make. I'm trying to make the uh, sound, so I'm trying to get basically. And if the funny thing is, is you can go through almost any movie, scrub through it, or even like a like a newscasting, if you have DVRs or whatever, just pause it in mid-sentence of somebody talking, and you'll get the most crazy looking expressions on their faces. And of course you don't see them when they're going normal speed, but when you pause them right in the middle of them saying something, it's pretty hilarious. But you get these, these weird shapes, like even right now if you were to pause one of of me talking or something, you'll get maybe this odd shape in my face or whatever, or odd expression. And that's what you're actually trying to capture as you make your phonemes and stuff. So I'm still going to try to do this. Some of it's trial and error. Well, I have not used this rig as much. It's also trial and error for myself. Still not happy with it. So I want to see if I can manipulate. There it is. For this guy, this is And now I want to try to make the M, which is one of the easier sounds to make, especially with this controller. You got the lips, which once you press them in, it's basically making this M say. I'm going to put this guy back at zero. And that would be your M. And sometimes, sometimes the M can be a B, because when you say B, it starts off with N, because you're going, and you basically your lips, lips are going together. Say, when we say B, it comes out where your E, basically, and most of the time, what I do is I select the controllers, and I would go to my channel box and zero all of them out to get start from a base. So it's my my foof, M or the beginning of a B. And basically my B is gonna be huh? B is gonna be this wait a minute. I am going to that could be basically the beginning of my, my B and where I haven't set keys on everything as I was going through, which I should have been. I could have basically went back and forth. But here's the foof. Mm. 
zero you guys out to get my room complete. Oops. Both sides. We got mm, 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 and then basically mm, B, B, and the jaw may open just a tad bit. So as you're going through, and there'll be a lot of trial and error, because that's the biggest thing about every rig, is a lot of rigs are different. This one is a setup where a lot of studios use it, where you have your UI, so you can always get rid of your UI and just animate the character, and it doesn't clutter the face, but there's some rigs, one I showed you guys earlier, that has all this basically on the face, and you can grab controllers on the face and move it around. I normally prefer the ones that are planted on the face, it makes it easier for, for me to, to grab certain parts of the, the the face and actually move it and see it in action instead of looking at a UI and trying to look at the face at the same time going back and forth. But uh, either one is just fine. I will try to find another rig that has the uh, most of the controls on the face. But for now, uh, use this guy. Get familiar with it. Um, you have an assignment based off expressions and trying to make certain sounds like th and and B, and when you go to make a sound that involves the tongue, the tongue's not all too great on this. Let me open his jaw so you can see. No, it's there. So when you go like to make the th sound, let's see if there's any. I don't see. I don't think there's a. It's basically happening in the middle. But when you go to make the the tongue, you see how the tongue sort of sticks out. What you do on that one is just. Open the jaw ever so slightly. Try to get the tongue to sort of line up in the middle. Use your controllers to sort of show the teeth. Then go back and forth with your jaw and close it, open it, so you can get that in there. And then use the frown to sort of get the down look. Probably drop the tongue a little bit. Poof the cheeks, and you slowly start getting that th 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 <laughs> the th sound. Uh, so for the, for the the assignment that you're going to be assigned, uh, you'll be doing a lot of those shapes, and you're making your own facial expressions. All right, and that concludes the first little thing you guys will be doing with your face, or with the face of characters. All right.